Hello, good morning from Ambi Valley. Today is Road to Valley Season 3's first day at Ambi Valley. Today we're going to be having all of the petrol cars running. So we've got our lovely Zen, Larry, and the Abarth today. So we are waiting right outside the gate. We're going to be entering soon. So stay tuned. We're going to have fun. Okay, so we are done with registration after uh, entering from the gate, you come here to FMSCI's uh, stop and give your papers for the registration. And once you are registered and all your papers are valid, you get a number. You need to stick this car, uh, no, you need to stick this number on your car on the front and the back for everybody to see. And each number has a different color, either red or green. Green, you go into this lane. Red, you go into that lane. So Soham's got the red lane, so he's going to be sticking towards this side. That makes the process much more streamlined and allows them to make many, many more runs and get done with it. So as usual, we are decreasing the rolling resistance from where the powertrain is not going to be delivering power. In the case of the LoRa, that's in the front wheels. So our front wheels are going to be having really grippy tires and really good rims for it to be nice and grippy on the front and all of the power is delivered down to the tarmac. The back is going to be having tires that are a little bit worn out so that they just do not create drag in the back. We've done it before, we now this time Soham is doing it for the first time. A big shout out to Bridgestone India for sponsoring us yet again for our third year in the Valley Run. Now you must already be familiar with tyres like the Balance B series or the performance oriented Potenza line of tyres or even the comfort oriented Turanzas. But Bridgestone has now come out with an all new tyre specifically designed for our Indian roads. The Bridgestone Cerro comes with some state of the art tyre technology. Stuff like a carbon tread compound with strong reinforcements, a double ply construction wall and 3D tread for optimum grip, better safety and all weather usage. What is more impressive is that the Sturdo compared to its competitors has 29% more tyre life and when it comes to designing this tyre, Bridgestone India took into account the usage of the average Indian consumer consumer and this tire is specifically made for our Indian roads. So if you're looking for a tire which has amazing grip, all weather usage and amazing comfort, the Bridgestone Sturdo is the way to go. Okay, so now we have sourced our draggy and uh, we are going to get it back onto this practice strip and get the Abarth out. We are expecting the Abarth to be much faster than last year's Abarth because now we actually have a stage 2 map and we've got a lot of goodies in the car that we are so excited to run. So now we're going to actually be able to see what the temperatures are on the surface, on the track, however they are and the inclination as well. So we are going to be able to get the most accurate reading right now here at the strip. So that's why we're going to get the car out and we're going to make a run. If there are any changes we can make to the car to make it go faster. So, we are done with our draggy runs in the Laura and the Abarth. The results are pretty good. We are quite happy with the way the cars are delivering. And now everything is easily all good. So luckily, Niranjan has come in time. He's got the new speed rims, much lighter. I think so the wheel tire combo is like around 11 kgs. This might be 16, 17. So the rolling mass makes a big difference. So we're trying to fit it now. But the problem that's happening is that we've done it on grass. So it went inside. But now we've put a rotor beneath it. Much easier. Hopefully we can switch out the tyres and wheels very easily. Do the tyre pressures again 
because that's very crucial for the launch. Hopefully, we're in contest. Uh, we're hopefully in the game to be the fastest stage to Laura in India. Now, the organizers had announced that all petrol categories, including diesel categories, were to be running today itself. We were prepared for the petrol ones, but the diesel category announcement caught us a bit off guard since the diesel cars were supposed to run on Sunday. So all of our diesel cars needed to be gutted from the inside. So basically, it was a race against time. So somehow, all of the cars were stripped and ready for the runs thanks to the efficient work by Autodesir's personnel. The diesel cars were the first on the track. After what seemed to be like a successful stint with our diesel cars, now the game was on with the petrol cars. So we started to line up the cars in the pits and it was time to let it rip. <laughs> Great launch, bro.
बहुत गुड लॉन्च फिफ्टीन सिक्स missing runs in the super competitive category we were waiting for the final results to come out so till then sit back and check out some of our favorite cars run by our fellow competitors That's like 750 cc bike speed, bro. 175 at the quarter mile, 13.2. That's wild, and the launch was also ridiculous because most of the time, if you're going to be losing time, you're going to be losing it at the launch. That's very impressive. While we were fooling around the drag strip, Shresh went to check out Kickshift and Alpha Logic's mad Nissan GTR R35. Makes around 1200 bhp, and if you don't know already, it was the fastest car at the event, doing the quarter in an eye-wateringly quick 9.7 seconds. Yup. So enough goofing about. What are the final results? Here you go. Yes, four out of the six vehicles we entered this year. Have reached the podium. Let's start from the smallest and the king of its category, the Suzuki Zen. Yes, the mighty little Zen has retained its crown, doing the quarter in 18.9 seconds, shutting down the competition in O1 category. Then you have the Abarth. If it hadn't been for a lousy gear shift into third, the Abarth would have actually won the category because in the practice run. It managed an impressive 16.1 quarter, which was faster than our mates from Autofly and their Audi A4 1.4 TSI in their final run. Game on for next year, lads. Then comes the Lora. We didn't expect the Lora to win its category, but when the timesheets came out, it was actually first, kind of. Seemed to be a printing error from the organizers, which was quickly rectified, and the car came sixth. We weren't expecting the Lora to win the category, but unfortunately, our personal goal. Of breaking into the 14s also wasn't fulfilled this time around due to the immense heat when it ran. An unfortunate result, but we know where to improve. Then came our diesel, starting with the Fabia. Just like the Abad, Niranjan unfortunately messed up his final run, which made it come sixth. But if he would have stuck it like he did in his practice, he would have won his category since he managed a 17.5. Bring on next year. Then comes the Verna. Did you ever imagine the Verna beating an equivalent of its German rivals? Yup, the magic of Auto Desir had shined through, and our Korean torque monster pulled through to third place. When it comes to the behemoth, our 2.2-ton one-of-one diesel monster, the X5 M50D managed to do an ultra-impressive 14.07 seconds, 
and this is without any sort of weight reduction too. But thanks to the grippy Bridgestone tyres it was running on, it pulled through to an amazing podium finish beating cars like a Stage 2 530D and a lot more. We were super happy with our results this year with 4 out of 6 cars bringing in some incredible results. We cannot thank our main sponsor enough, Bridgestone India for providing their support and giving us the means to stay competitive. Then comes Auto Desir performance with their amazing crew and tuning for our cars. Niranjan can cook up some amazing tunes and we really do suggest everyone in the Mumbai Pune region to go and get a tune from him. And last but not the least, Downshift Store, an upcoming automotive apparel brand. They gave us some dapper looking clothes for this year which gave us the presents we really wanted. Watch out for the final episode in which we receive the trophies along with some cool drifting and supercar action. A big thank you once more. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.